And welcome back to the Illusion of Gaia Let's Play episode 15. In the last episode we continued our dungeon excursion. Oh, this isn't... Ah, uh, darn it. I made a mistake. You can't turn into wheel here. That's just the dark power. It doesn't actually let you turn into wheel, so I have to find the other force. But at least I get another power up now. And I'm in uncharted territory. Oh, and it's life up, so we're starting our second bar of life. Yes, that's right, you get two full bars in this. But what's up here, I wonder? Oh, okay. But technically, I didn't need Will for that, because now I'm on the other side of that thing. I can go that I think I have to go this way first. Turn back into Will. Yeah. Yeah, because this is... Oh, I almost killed that guy. That would have been great. You're not getting me that easy. I'm getting wise. You're also not giving it up either. Where's that chest? Where the heck am I? Oh yeah, there's this is the one with the force. <coughs> Ooh, let me get this guy over here. There we go. This is what I was look aiming for. Why don't you all come over here? Another life point. So now after 22 health. Ooh, I wonder what we have here. Rama statue again. Apparently you need two of those. Actually you do. And there they are. They kind of look like the Inca statue. Only different. But like I said, this dungeon's pretty extensive doesn't take that much effort to get the water layers down, but once you do, you got to find your way through the maze. But like I said, your best guide is the fact that there are no more enemies or chests or anything left in the room. That's how you know that you've, you've done it, been there, done that. But I'm also paying attention. So the next area is down here. Very long dash, because this room is done too but not but we have to use this part here we go this is where we place the statues <coughs> oops sorry about that okay so I had an error with the recording uh, but um, basically I put the statues on the pedestal and I met Rama which is just one of those stone faces and he gave me the mystic statue for free and told me to go through the tunnel that because these people uh, that were living in Mu they uh, they wanted to leave the island because the light from the comet was turning everybody into demons so they didn't want to leave the island and they couldn't build a boat out of stone there were no materials so they ended up digging this long tunnel and Rama gives you access to that tunnel so that you can leave too now that you have the mystic statue, but when you go through the room, you find Eric strapped to a huge bomb and these two vampires. And the vampires are bad because he shoots fireballs in four directions, she shoots something in a circle, and every once in a while they will do this team attack where they form a giant, giant ball of energy that's very hard to avoid and takes about half your health if you get hit with it. So, we're going to see if we can beat these guys. Uh, you know, hopefully, I can do it in one try. It might take more than one, but let's do it. So bring it on, vampires. Show me what you got. First, let's get that mystic statue. Yeah. Yeah, see, he's got these spinning things. And, of course, you're on a timer. That's the other problem. And now here's the team attack. Ah! <laughs> of course I get hit by it. Yeah, he shoots those things out when, when you touch him. You don't always know where they are. It wasn't that cheap. The idea is to defeat one, and then not the other 
uh, just concentrate on one of them at a time so that you uh, you don't get hit by that thing. They can't produce it if there's only one of them. But as you can see, I'm I'm nearly dead. So plus also also like I said the uh, there it is. I died. The, the, you know, they only give you about two and a half minutes. So this is where I was before. Oh, half health, of course. This is not, not good. I really gotta focus if I wanna beat these guys. You basically just gotta stay out of the intersections. And uh, know where they are at all times. No! <laughs> Unreal. Oh man. Yeah, this this is not going well. I'm gonna try to get a couple of hits on him. Maybe I'll kill her first. Gotta swipe at him a couple of times. There we go. Fortunately, uh, darn it, darn it, get out of the way. Oh, that's nice. One, one health I have left. Okay, I got by that one. Oh, of course. <laughs> There's so much you gotta avoid in this room. And you gotta fight these guys again later on. There's three continues gone. Alright. I can do this. So you can't even get close to them with that going on. Because it just hurts too much. Oh. You don't know where they are. That's why I say I hate these guys. I don't believe this. <laughs> it's possible to make a boss that's too hard? Yep. And this nonsense of only giving you half health when you use a continue. That doesn't work. Where are you? Come on. See, they keep coming out. It's not like, you know, it just does it once and you can swipe at them. It's bad. I had them both that time. <laughs> Cheapers. Can't buy that one. Get a hit on you for later. So you're going to come up here and do it. That's the best way to avoid that thing. Let's try to focus. Ah! Took another hit. He's almost dead, though. Oh! One more! One more! I'm glad he's gone. It's your turn next. Get ready! Oh, of course! He ended up firing before I got a chance to kill him.
Oh yeah! And that's how you do it. Defuse the bomb! Red wire and the blue wire. Which one do I do? Which one do I do? Uh, it's always the red one. <sighs> what a pain. Sorry about that, guys. But I died about five thousand times trying to beat those vampires, so I had to compress it into one battle where I win, so that it's more entertaining. So yeah, that's why I have no continues and no DP. So let's continue. There was nothing I could do. Yeah, you know what? I should have stepped on you while I had the chance. Yeah, you're useless. Get out of my pocket. <laughs> you didn't help at all. Once again, Will has saved me. You're darn right. You're just gonna stand there? Hey, here's the rest of the crew. <laughs> yeah, Lily's fine. Cause you know you got a thing for it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get out of here. Something someone called Rama. And I tell the story. It's such a sad story. Separated from those whom they lived. Others remaining underwater. If we go through the tunnel, we can reach, reach the mainland. Good, let's get out of here. So now we go through the Mu Tunnel. Which is actually the Seaside Tunnel. So, in the seaside tunnel, we, uh, this is the tunnel that they dug, and it's been five days since we got in. Now, one of the, the good things about this, I must have walked 500 miles. Yeah, I doubt that, Eric. This is crazy. It's a long tunnel. <laughs> Kara's actually the one yelling at him for complaining. I think of all of us feel the same way. Let's eat. So now we have to find something to eat. And... And, uh, yeah. I'm getting some lag here, but basically we have to find these mushrooms. And... Yesterday baked mushroom, the day before boiled mushroom, before that raw, <laughs> awfully tasteless. <laughs> So if scurvy wasn't enough, now they're eating poisonous mushrooms for the equivalent. So... Will found more mushrooms. It's better than starving. <laughs> In this way, another day passed slowly. Like you could tell, you know, what day and night is. Eighth day in the tunnel. Unable to sleep, I started, stared at an underground river. And now Lily comes and shares her insight. And we're looking for more mushrooms. We'll find out what happens in this uh, tunnel in the next episode, uh, part 16. So I'll see you then.